What is up, guys? I know for a fact you do not want to be this guy right over here. Oh. I've been out here for 10 days and I still haven't caught no coconuts. <laughs> I wish I had some secrets. I know for sure you guys want to be this guy over here. I'm going to share with you guys my deepest, darkest, kokanee secrets so we can put more fish in your guys's boat today i know kokanee are amazing and super fun fish to catch and they are also amazingly tasty so let's put more of those fish in your guys's freezers and get more of your guys's kids on those fish as you guys are out fishing on these amazing water systems if this video helps you out in any any kind of way please like subscribe and it really helps if you share it too we are already planning another giveaway for subscribers and people that like and comment on videos. And so we are watching that and we have a big giveaway coming up soon, guys. I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned. Let's get into these secrets. Let's bonk some fish. Hope you guys enjoy. Fish on. Right when I slowed down. Let's go. Right when I slow down, right when we slow down, one small adjustment, baby. Right when we slow down. We're at 71. We see flash. Let's get the net ready. I like to keep these kokanee under the water as long as possible. There it is. Nice. Gorgeous Northwest kokanee, baby. All right, guys. Secret number one for these kokanee on any lake in the freaking world, I'm telling you, water temperature is a huge key and a huge secret that you guys are gonna wanna hone in on so you can catch more of these fish at all times of the year, okay? It is springtime right now. Well, it's June, but it's spring up here in the Northwest. As you can see, the clouds up behind me, We've been getting a lot of rain. The water temperature is literally sitting around the 50s. And that tells me that all the kokanee are from about the surface level of the water down to about 30 feet. And we target those with an inline weight, just like so down to our amazing little dodger or flasher of your choice. Sling blades work amazing as well. And then I love my um, self-tied little hoochie spinner that I make up, a little micro hoochie. You can learn how to tie these up if you go over to my channel, Walking on Water, and then as well down to a non-slip mooching rig that you can also go over to my channel and find as well. But that is not what we are here to talk about for this very second. We're gonna talk about the depth that you need to be fishing for these fish and what time of year you need to be fishing that depth for them, okay? So it is June, it is spring up here in the Northwest, the runoff is hitting the lake, and we are fishing on the top of the water. So I am running a two ounce inline weight with a bead chain, just like so. Here, I'm gonna pull up my phone for you guys, as well as I always have my depth chart right here handy, and I can put a link in the description below for the depth chart, but knowing exactly where you are fishing with your gear is the most important thing, and this is big number one secret for you guys Having a line counter reel definitely helps you fish these inline weights so you know exactly how far to, how much line to let back so you know what depth you're at. But targeting these fish in the spring, you're gonna be from about zero to 35 feet. If you're getting closer to late summer, you're gonna go down to about 50 to 60 feet as these fish start to dive down to get away from that heat so they can follow those thermoclines in your guys' lake. So secret number one is depth. And today, as you see us fishing or see me fishing, we are gonna be targeting them with an inline weight, two ounces to be particular. I like the inline weight setup on these soft kokanee rods, if you can see it bending behind me. 
it just gives it a nice action in these fish. It doesn't rip the hook right out of these fish's mouth. So stay tuned for the next secret, you guys. Oh, fish. There it is. Let's go, baby. Let's, oh, double, we're doubled up. Oh. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Come on. Okay, yeah. Oh! Another gorgeous kokanee. Thank you, Lord. That, that was so sick. Double up. Didn't get the other one hooked up, but two hits at the exact same time. Pretty amazing stuff, you guys. Secret number two, and this is by far one of my favorite secrets, but man, oh man, does this secret just absolutely crush the fish. It is none other than headstrong pre-workout. You throw a little bit of this in the water and these fish are going crazy. They're jacked up, they're in the gym, they're Mr. Olympia. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. I just so happened to use my my pre old pre-workout jug. Freaking headstrong is the best, but I'm, not, I'm just messing around. But this is what I put my corn in. And man, oh man, just take a look at that beautiful hand brine, hand brine, self brined up corn right here. I'm walking on water. You can go over to my channel if you want to learn how to brine this up. But I'm telling you, I will show you a few of the ingredients right here today. And man, oh man, this is just fire brine right here. Let me, excuse me, let me grab some. Fire brine, a little bit of the corn and salt, okay? So. This is blue fire brine, but this is the kind of brine that I put in my beautiful corn here. And then as well as the wizard kokanee magic corn powder right here. And this is secret number two. Look at that absolute beautiful corn. We're gonna throw this in the water and those fish are just gonna go headstrong and get crazy out here. It's gonna be wild. So stay tuned for that. Secret number two is brine up your own corn. Don't go buy it. Shoe pig's good, but you can use any kind of corn. Don't let the haters tell you you can't, but hey, shoe pig corn, it's amazing. Brine it up, dab it out, dab it out, and put some salt in it with the freaking fire brine and the, the magic corn dust. Man, go over to my channel if you wanna learn how to brine up this corn. That's secret number two, guys. Stay tuned. baby here we go let's go on that turnaround we got hooked up again now it knows it's hooked now it knows it's hooked there we go let's go let's go Let's go. What a beautiful fish. It's beat up, look at This fish is missing like half its gill plate. It's got a big old chunk. Maybe a pike got a hold of him, who knows? Wow. All right guys, the third and final secret, and I'm just gonna tell you exactly, exactly what I'm using and the types of lures that I like to use that just absolutely crush them. And I make all my own lures for kokanee. Um, I just find it, it's fun for me, it's my passion, you know, so I just really enjoy doing it. We have a little 2.5 silver blade down to a couple little beads. And you can honestly choose your color of hoochie. I personally like to have a bunch in my arsenal, but this one just so happens to be pink, down to some little tiny freaking, I think they're four op mustad hooks babies and they're tied up with a non-slip mooching rig and this is going to be one of the main setups that we're running here today we're going to run it behind an inline weight as well as the pink dodger okay so this is absolutely one of my favorite setups and this thing guaranteed will catch a, catch us a couple fish today but let's go into the second and my all-time favorite setup and i know you guys already know this if you've watched my channel at all and you excuse me have seen my killer kokanee video but this is a Shasta sling blade. I like to put a little tiny bend myself in it, a hand bend, just like that, down to a little tiny half inch 
I'm giving you guys the secret right here. This is the secret. I've ran a ton of spin glows and this, there's none that kill it like this one. This is a chartreuse and purple lightning spin glow with the silver blades just like that down to two beads down to my excuse me i hooked myself <laughs> down to the corn okay this is absolutely my seeker right here if i'm out on the water i am running this at all times because this thing catches fish i'm telling you we will put some fish in the boat today for you guys with this thing right here and that is a little half inch spin spin glow if you guys have not tried spin glows for kokanee you should definitely be trying <laughs> tongue twister say that five times fast no you should definitely be you should definitely be trying these spin glows for kokanee but i'm telling you go pick up some of these purple and chartreuse you will not be sorry hey you guys thank you so much for tuning into this episode of walking on water it was my pleasure to bring you my secrets to kokanee and yes i'm mainly fishing for them up here in the beautiful absolute gorgeous north west but hey these tricks and tips can work on absolutely any lake you are fishing, as long as you are targeting kokanee. We have another giveaway coming up soon, you guys. I'm really freaking stoked to announce it. I'm not gonna announce it yet, but I just want you to know there is one coming. So make sure we're liking, subscribing, and sharing, please. It does really help. Again, if this video helped you, share it out to some of your friends. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one.